वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स द सब्जेक्ट कैलकुलस अंडर दैट यू हैव स्टडीड इन योर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड अ लिमिट कंटिन्यूटी डिफ्रेंशिएशन एंड द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द फंक्शन बट द क्वेश्चन अराइज दैट हु हैज फर्स्ट इन्वेंटेड द कैलकुलस so in the history of the mathematics when i read on the internet it's come across the three mathematicians who has worked on a calculus first work on a calculus the first one is the madhwa madhwa he is from kerala india in the 13th to 14th century the second one is isaac newton he is a english mathematician in the 16th 17th century and the libnis he is also from 16th to 17th century from germany among this three the madhwa who has the first work on a uh, trigonometric identity infinite series so and it is a very debatable issue that who has first invented calculus newtons and Leibniz found the relationship between the problem of finding the tangent to the curve and the problem of determining the area of the region the realization of the connection consider the discovery of the calculus through the newton so how these two problems are related 10 years before the leibniz did and leibniz published his work in 20 year before the newton This situation leads to a stormy debate over the who was rightful discovery or discover a calculus. But if you see the Indian history, in that the concept of Madhwa has gave or first invented the calculus. The debate between the Europe for the half century. and the scientists of the europe continent supported the libnis and those from the england they are supported the newton the conflict that was extremely unstorable because of newton's interior notation badly harmed scientific development in the england and continent turns a lots of benefit of newton's discovery in the astronomy and in the physics for nearly 50 years this fights of all newtons and libnis were a sincerely admire for each other works so the conclusion that i can made from this is the madhwa who has a first invented the calculus according to the indian history now the second question is arise why we have to study a calculus so calculus can be study majorly finding the two questions or answering the two questions the first one is to find out instantaneous rate of change that is alternate ways to asking the question is find the tangent line to the general curve at the any given point so the go is is there and there is a line that i can say a slope of this line suppose this point is a x1 f of x1 and this point is b x2 f of x2 then we know that the slope of this line segment ab is f of x2 minus f of x1 upon x2 minus x1 but if this distance x2 minus x1 is tending to zero then it will leads to a tangent to this curve and it will leads to this and in that case it will gives me a slope of this line and that is a finding the tangent line to the general equation that means we are asking you that what will happen if x2 is tending to x1 in this case a second major problem is to 
finding the area of the general region a length of the general curve and the volume of general solid in particular i can say a finding the area of uneven shapes so as you are this you are discussing in your calculus that of finding the area between this or integration of a to b f of x dx that means it is a finding the area under that curve so this integration represent in this manner and using this integration we also can able to find out a length of the curve a volume of a general solid so these are the main two problems and in the literature there are also other problems are there the first one that the third one is saying that the find the maximum or the minimum value of the quantity for example the maximum and the minimum distance of a planet from the sun or the maximum range of attainable projectile of the various angle of fire the fourth problem that was discovered in the history that was done by newton and the leibniz is the given a formula of the distance traveled by a body in any scientific amount of time and finding the velocity and acceleration of the body at instant time consequently given a formula that specific acceleration for the velocity at any instant and finding the distance traveled by body in specific period of time so differentiation that we are we have studied in your 12 standard it is a finding the instantaneous rate of change now let us see how many things we are going to study in this course so your the course is divided into two unit that i am going to teach you is a successive differentiation the first topic is the successive differentiation the second topic is a mean value theorem so successive differentiation in that we will going to discuss that if you have given some standard functions like e power ax then what will be the 2021th derivative of e power ax and likewise there are some well known function for example sin ax plus b what will be the 2001th derivative of that and so on there are many such examples i can give so in successive derivative we are going to discuss the what will be the nth order derivative of any function is given to you a next topic in the first unit is the mean value theorem so basically there are three mean value theorems we will going to study it is a rolls mean value theorem langrand mean value theorem and cosi mean value theorem and we will discuss the proof of this theorems and some of the applications of this mean value theorems the second unit consisting of the conversions and the divergence of infinite series so prerequisites of the infinite series you have to learn regarding the sequences so you should know what do you mean by sequences and the sum of the terms of the sequences are known as the infinite series and in which situation it will be conversion that means it going to a sum will going to be a one number or in which situation it will be diversion so we will discuss a various kind of test of checking whether the given sequences is a convergent or divergent and the last topic of the unit 2 is the taylor series and maclaurin series that is the actually having the approximation of the function if any function is given what will be the approximate of approximation to that function is there with a function should satisfy certain properties so this is your course course structure and about the some information regarding the calculus thank you very much for listening to me if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or question please drop down in the comment box below see you in next video till then bye bye sayonara